can withstand attack by the Imperial armor army. We've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in a Half Shell, Turtle Pal! Sorry. There's an abandoned castle. There just so happens to be. Uh, as luck would have it, some form of weird coinky dink. There is an abandoned castle in the middle of Lake Tehran that I believe would be perfect for our purposes. Why don't we make Fukaku the town of the shores of the lake? Yeah, probably. They did a pretty good job for what's in the game, and it gets the story across really well. Oh my god. The Suikoden 2... The, the Suikoden 2 script is so sadly destroyed by excessive, excessive ellipses, and it's such a pity. At least they managed to get the, re the the story across really relatively well despite that, but it could have been so, so much better. Yeah. Aren't you coming with us, Matau? I must prepare for the move, and I'll have to give the children a year's worth of homework. <laughs> yeah, how did they how did they think he was a doctor again? Exactly. Exactly like that, so uh Jeroen. Exactly. I think somebody counted once and there was a one line that was like 27 or 28 ellipses. Oh my god! Stop doing Humphrey impressions, guys! Jeez, shut up! Oh my god, you guys talk too much. Like, L. Oh my god, I love Nanami! You guys are m that's mean, Deltry! Nanami's awesome! She's best. Best sister. Best sister in the world. I still get fucked up every time by that, by that scene. You know the one. Don't go spoiling, but you know the scene I'm talking about. The sad one. The awesome one. The one where she kicks that guy's ass! <laughs> ah ha 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 too many dots it's cause they're mods and I'll have to give the children a year's worth of homework a year's worth of homework oh my god dude we're not head for Kaku okay fine we're going does she dead mm, I can't say She kicks ass, though. Nanami kicks ass. All kinds. There is a- there is a cat in this game that says the word- that- that- its way of meowing is saying Sonya. I'm not joking. Where are Kaku? Hi! Say what? Take you to Torin Castle? You gotta be kidding me, there are monsters there. We'll clean them out. Castle of Tehran, the home of the fog monster, only a fool would ever go there. All according to Oshanu. Oshanu! Sharpening your weapons, I'll take care of that. Um, can't handle my weapons, lady! You can't handle this shit! Get thee out! I love that. Look at this fire texture. It's amazing. Look at it. It just. It's it's so good. Ocean means ocean. Oh hey, remember I told you to talk uh, to remember the name Meg. Meg. Who are you all? Liberation Army? Then you're fighting the Imperials? But no, I'm busy right now. I'm looking for someone. Maybe you know him. His name is Juppo. He's my uncle, and he's a trickster. 
Sorry. I d don't know him. Hey, kitty cat. Kitty, 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 kitty. Yippus, puss, puss. Yippus, puss, 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 puss. I better not say that. Oh, my cat was looking at me. It's like, what? What do you want? Hi. This is the hardware store. We sell hardware. Uh, a holy crystal. Oh my god. Yes! Alright, so this is the most useful and also annoying crystal in the world. Castle of Turan, the home of the fog monster. I've already said this. Meg uncle. Meg uncle. Welcome. Bye. Guard robe. Yes. Oh. You're carrying too much shit. There you go, Cleo. And wow, he hold that. Cape, gloves, shoulder pads! We're about to get 80s up in here! Alright, let's uh, let's just equip this shit. Shoulder pads? On my watch? Definitely. Uh, what am I? What am I? 71. Right. Yeah, that's not for you. Wait, wait. God damn it. Cleo. There you go, Cleo. Uh, nope. Sell stuff. Uh, sell the gloves. Sell the leggings and the brass armor. I can't make, make her meow. She's sleeping. She's up on the wardrobe. I can't even reach her. Whoop. Well, he wants to sell that. Uh, Cleo wants to sell that. And that. And you can see how annoying this is going to get very quickly. Um, okay, shoulder pads. Have some shoulder pads, man. It's 80s. There you go. Um, e no, equipment. Have some shoulder pads, dude. And, no, stop it. Victor's got shoulder pads all over the place. You need some more shoulder pads, girl. Girl, you got them shoulder pads? Um, let's put that cape to someone. Cleo, hold that for us. Uh, do you- yes, you've got the guard robe. Give that to Gremio, he needs that shit. He needs that shit in his life. Gremio, you need defense man. Alright. Brass armor. Boots. Gloves. Circlet. And cape. I think everyone's fine. We could use a rune shop, but we don't have one at our disposal just yet. I've already talked to you. There's nobody here. No way. Hello. Give me a break, will ya? The only one with guts enough to go here, go there, is Reckless Tai Ho. Oh god, best mini game is coming up. Best mini game is coming up. <laughs> get ready, guys. It's about to get Tai Ho 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 up in here. That made no sense. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll just save. Been a little while. There we go. Okay, fucking hell. Here we go. This is, uh. We've got a lot of money, so it should be okay. I say should. Alright, hi. Camille! Tai Ho! Oh, that guy. You, I've got you now, you bum. Wait, what? What is it? What have I done? What have you done? Ha! Huh, I've got you now. I'll collect from your grave is the deck collector's motto, and you've never outrun Camille, the shield she-devil. 
Uh, what's all that about? She Gremio's friend? Well, I have no idea. Come on, give me that money you owe me right now. In cash, I've been looking for you for two months. You got a girlfriend, Gremio? Gremio, are you in debt? Goodness, of course not. Trying to lie your way out of this situation, hmm? But I've got proof. Take a look at this. Uh, let me see. Oh, this is the bill for the banquet with Master Teo. I also owe something at the inn. What? You want me to pay this right now? Camille is not as awesome as Cat. That's right. Immediately. All of it. Let me see, Gremio. <laughs> Punctuation! Uh, listen, we're in a spot of trouble at the moment, and we're short of... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even say that line properly. I can't even say that without laughing. By the way, young lady, you seem to be acquainted with Taiho. I know him. Can you tell us where he is? Sure, after you pay up. After all, this is business. How about this, then? We have no money at the moment, but once we find Taiho, uh, we might have a way of getting some. As soon as we get some money, we'll pay you back. Hmm. Hey, you're trying to trick me. Uh, no, not at all. Damn these penniless bums. <laughs> Alright, so be it then. But I'm sticking with you until you pay up. Yay! So, where can we find Tai Ho? He's usually downstairs. Ask the shopkeeper. We sure have recruited an on one. Okay, so I believe Camille is short. Uh, short... No, she's medium. Alright, she's fine. She's fine where she is. Hi. Oh, it's Serge. Listen to me, I happen to be an inventor. After much hard work, I came up with an amazing invention, but something that would impress even the dwarves. But none of the castle keepers understand what a wonderful invention it is. What is it, you ask? It's called an elevator, and we will love it to pieces. Yeah, I know. We could we could afford to pay. What is it? Are you friends of Taiho? He's downstairs. Thanks. Wait a minute. I just I do want to check Camille's strength. Um, she has a weapon called Galm. Her attack is fifty-four. What level is she on? Level nine. She's a bit behind us. Oh, these two. What is it? What do you want with my boss? A boat to Tehran? Gee, I don't know. He's a moody guy. Here we go. Best game. What? A boat to Tehran Castle? You must be nuts. The place is full of monsters. I'll be placing my life on the line just to take you there. Tell you what. Since I'll be risking my life on this trip, you're going to have to make a correspondingly risky bet. You're going to have to bet all the money you have. Are you up to it? Yeah, we already saved. Here we go then, too late for regrets. Welcome to Chichinarin. Yeah. This is a game where you th and I throw the dice. The one who throws the bigger number wins. You throw three dice at one time, and if two come up the same, the number on the third die is your score. It's pretty simple. Two of anything except one, as well as four, five, six, are lucky numbers. But two ones and one, two, three are unlucky. Also, three of the same number, we'll see that you, yeah, storm. Yeah, you get paid triple. If you fail to throw a hand in three dice, or your dice goes out of bounds, you lose. Watch your hand when you throw. No, we're fine. Let's play. My turn. Okay, so he gets to go first. And he has thrown a five. Shit, that's going to be hard to top. So you throw the dice. Four, five, six. Oh my god, he pays us double. Oh guys. You know what that means. Oh, we only bet a thousand? Oh man! That wasn't all our money, you bastard! You liar! God damn it! You asshole! I was looking forward to almost three hundred thousand dollars. Well, oh well. Well, you're lucky today. I tend to go along with lucky folk. Hey, I'm cool. Let's go prepare the boat. 
Sure, sure. Here we go again with Big Brother's Madness. Only 